Hey you guys, how you doing? Janie here. Today I'm making you a sweet little recipe using broad beans. Don't be put off if as a child you were force fed broad beans and they were minging. They're not minging. You just need to know what to do with them. So I'm going to be making you a goat's cheese and broad bean bruschetta. It tastes incredible. We've been eating it quite a lot this week as I perfected the recipe. Um, so I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you give this one a go. It's a bit of a healthier camping recipe so I hope you like it. We are mid heat wave here in Cornwall. It is so bloody hot. It's about nine in the morning and already this van is baking. I've got all the doors and windows open. My poor cat, I've got a little black cat. Sexy, come here baby. And this poor little girl is sweltering. She doesn't know what to do with herself. Do you want to come and say hello? No, thank you. So I'm filming this in mid-June and this time of year you're going to need to double peel the broad beans. If you're doing this recipe early in the year, kind of May time, then the broad beans will be much smaller, much more tender. You can just peel them once, cook them and mash them. Sassy, hello, look, come and say hello to YouTube. So I remember as a child, my dad, this was my dad's favourite vegetable, the broad bean. And I remember as a child. God, he would have them with every meal. It was enough to put you off for life. Happily, being the foodie girl that I am, I gave them another try. And you know what? They're so yummy. They're really nice flavour. Obviously, you're not going to muller them by overcooking them or overboiling them. As with most things, that's going to completely ruin the flavour. So these are just going to get a very quick cook and a mash. Oh, I've just been bitten by a horsefly. Oh, room 101 for horseflies. Oh, that's my first one of the season. Horrible things. So all you're doing is slipping broad beans out of their pods. They're kind of like a fluffy, foamy, downy pod. They're really odd, really funny texture. Um, just peel them open and slide the broad beans out. You coming to help, honey bum? Yeah, meow. Once you've shelled your broad beans, then you wanna pop them into boiling water for three to four minutes. Be right back. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna let them cool for a bit. Now, obviously when you're camping, it's much easier just to open the tin of beans. I get that. And there are days that Johnny and I eat instant food, um, either food that I've prepared and dehydrated and then rehydrated on the trip, or we open a tin. Sometimes we even have a pot noodle or two. But the thing is that I enjoy the process of cooking. I enjoy the process of putting together flavors. So this for me, yes, it's a bit long-winded. You've got to peel beans and boil them and shell them. And, but I enjoy that process. I enjoy, I, I don't just enjoy the eating, I enjoy all the aspects of food as well and the prep and the planning and even the shopping. I love food shopping. So while some people I appreciate hate cooking and they want don't even want to think about it when they're on holiday, I'm the opposite of that. For me, holidays are about exploring the local cuisine in an area. They're about finding fresh produce. Um, they're about meeting artisan producers and growers and bakers and butchers and I am that obsessed about food that for me holiday is all about food. <laughs> Poor Johnny, he just wants to like go and explore and I just want to go and find the bakery but you know. So yes this is more long-winded than opening a tin, tin of baked beans, I get that and this isn't for everyone and I get that too but for me prepping food like this on the road is just it's part of the pleasure I mean I love it it's great fun so the next bit of the process is you need to take your broad beans and just make a little like cut in the the outer shell with your nail and then squeeze from the other end and you'll find that this bright green shiny bean pops out this bit is edible it's just a bit tough and a bit bitter this is the bit that's good that you want in your bruschetta so there you go open a bottle of wine take your time there's no hurry it's really quite therapeutic okay once you've double shelled your broad beans pop them into a mixing bowl and add in about 75 grams of goat's cheese next up add a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice add a sprinkle of black pepper and a little pinch of salt too and then using one's potato masher 
This is a really good job to get the men folk to do, or even the kids if they need to burn off some energy. You can use the back of a fork too. It's just going to take a little bit longer. And have a little taste. And make sure your seasoning's right. You can always add more. So while I was making this up, I had the griddle pan on and I've griddled a piece of sourdough bread. You could also do this on the barbecue, so don't worry if you haven't got a griddle pan. Get yourself a cut garlic clove and rub it all over the surface of the bread. Add a little drizzle of olive oil. And spoon on the green goodness. Doesn't that look lovely? Another quick sprinkle with black pepper. And there you are, you're good to go. One broad bean and a goat cheese bruschetta. As always guys, if you make this recipe on your adventures, then please, please, please tag me in any photos you put on social media. You can generally find me everywhere as at Hedgecoma. Until next time, friends, look after yourself. It's been fun cooking for you and I hope to see you on the road soon. Happy camping.